Hi, welcome to iTalk. Today we're going to look into what it's like to use a progressive lens. So you just picked up your new pair of progressive glasses, you put them on and Whoa, wait a minute. What is going on? Why does my world look like I'm seasick? Well, there's a few um, easy explanations to why this is happening. A progressive lens is a lens where you have all the corrections for the different distances that you need. Because at this point, well, let's face it, you've hit presbyopia. And the lens is based so that you can use it for everything. At the top of the lens, you have your distance correction. At the middle of the lens, you have your intermediate correction. And at the bottom, you have your reading. So how does this all work? Well, with your prescription that the doctor gave you, they've calculated and custom made this lens for you to go gradually from your distance correction into your reading correction. So I'm gonna show you a few easy tips and tricks on how to make it work for you. So how is all this supposed to work? How do I use this? Well, one important step that you need to take first is put the glasses on, set them on your nose where you would typically wear them. This is hopefully where they were sitting when you get measured up for them. And in that position, what you should start by doing is looking far into the distance, something several yards away. And when you're doing so, we naturally tilt our chin down a little bit. So tilt your chin down a little bit and look far away. If you're getting clarity, that's great. That means your distance prescription part is working. Now you want to look at something up close. Take something with small print and put it at normal reading distance, where in the good old days you would have read a newspaper. Focus on one part in the text and make sure you're facing it straight on. Focus on one part of the text and tilt your chin a little bit up and a little bit down to find that sweet spot. If you're getting clarity at one position of your jaw, that's great. That means your reading distance is working. Then we have the intermediate or what most people use it for, the computer distance. So how do we use that? Well, that part is a little bit tricky. That is the narrowest field in the lens. So when we have a progressive lens, it's kind of designed a little bit like an hourglass. So in this hourglass, we have perfect clarity. It's big towards the top where you're viewing your distance. It's a little narrower where you have your computer distance and a little wider where you go down to your reading. So you should be able to comfortably read probably side to side on a piece of paper. But in your computer distance, it is important to be facing your computer straight on and do a little tilt until you find the sweet spot. And that's where you're getting perfect clarity. So for example, when you put on your new progressives for the first time and you get up to walk around, whoa, there is a little bit of a weird thing going on with the ground. It kind of maybe looks a little fishbowling or that the ground is kind of waving around. That's perfectly normal because the reason this is happening is when you're looking down at your feet through your progressive glasses, well, you're hitting your reading segment if you're just glancing down like this. That means your feet are too far away for your reading distance. That's why they look blurry, that's why they look bowed. But if you were to turn your head all the way down and watch your feet, then it would look just fine. But again, this is an effect that won't stick around. Once you get past that hump, where you're in your brain training stage, you will not even notice this anymore. So in a progressive lens, the way it's designed, it does have a few zones where you're not going to be able to get perfect clarity. Let's call them blur zones. And this is just the way that the design is. The progressive has come a long way since it was initially created, but there are still a few minor setbacks that after you get used to them, they're no big deal. So that hourglass shape that we were talking about in the spaces outside of the hourglass. So in your peripheral here and here, you're not going to get perfect clarity. With time, your brain will just ignore that blur and you won't even notice. But that is normal and that is just how the lens is designed. You do have a few other zones that you might not get perfect clarity either. Like if you are um, looking at something through the corner of your eye. 
So perfect clarity here near to the nasal and perfect clarity here near to the bottom corner. Those are blur zones as well. So there isn't achievable clarity there. But again, after a little bit, your brain will just ignore this blur and just see where it's clear. So once you've picked up your progressive, we usually recommend that you try them for at least a week before you decide whether they're not going to work for you or not. So during that week, it's really brain training. Your eye is just fine with using the progressive just as it is. Your brain, however, needs a couple of days to adjust. So to that blur that you're going to see and the little bit of seasick kind of motion looking thing when you're walking around, your brain will eventually just ignore that that's even happening and you won't even notice. It'll be just like wearing a normal pair of glasses. But again, that takes about a week for that to happen. So wear them as much as possible during that first week. Just stick it out and I'm pretty sure as long as they were made correctly, you will not only enjoy them, but you will love the fact that you can get all those distances corrected through just one pair of glasses. So now that you know how it all works, enjoy your new progressives and thank you for watching iTalk. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to follow us on Instagram.